In this tutorial, we will learn how to measure objects using the Magic Wand tool in Image Pro Insight 9. The Magic Wand tool provides an easy way to outline irregularly shaped regions of interest or features in your image. Simply click on the Magic Wand tool, place the wand cursor inside the area that you want to trace, and left click your mouse button once. The Magic Wand will automatically trace the outline of the region or feature based on the color similarities and or differences of intensity ranges between the pixel that's under your cursor and the surrounding pixels. This will be based on a plus or minus of a specified tolerance interval. The tolerance interval is located in the drop down of the magic wand. The mono range of 30, for instance, is 15 in one direction and 15 in the other. You can always find what the intensity value under your mouse is by moving your mouse cursor on the image and looking at the bottom to see what value is underneath your mouse. This will be the starting point for your range. To add to the region that you've selected, simply holding down the control button will allow you to add to that selection. In this mode, each time you click, you will create a new selection. However, you can outline more than one region. Simply click the add selection button to be able to select multiple regions. In order to fine-tune the selection algorithm, let's drop down the magic wand tool and adjust our range to 90. In this instance, we can select multiple objects as we would expect. If we'd like our outlines to be smoother, we can add smoothing to each of our outlines as well. You can also use the filter tool to set a value describing the level of contrast between the feature you're tracing and the surrounding elements. The threshold scale extends from 1 to 100 with a low value representing low contrast and a high value representing high contrast. In addition, we have a fill holes option. Fill holes allows you to automatically fill all interior holes of the object you're selecting. Once the objects have been selected properly, they must be validated. By validating the measurement, each object will be individually measured. These measurements will immediately receive overlays and your data table will be populated with those values. If you'd like to add additional types, simply go to the Types drop-down under Measurements, navigate to Regions, and select the measurements such as Area, Major Axes, Diameters, and Intensities. All the measurements on the left are the library to choose from and all the measurements on the right are the selected measurements that you'll be using. To wrap up, each of the objects that have been measured behave like any other measurement in Image Pro Insight. They can be selected, used with relative measurements, and even classified.